glad to see you guys back here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna bring you guys a world exclusive unboxing of something brand new from the people over at Thermaltake. This is their new Commander MSI series case. Now, this case is only $50. Check this out. This Epic Edition fully red case is coming to market for $50. You can pick this thing up right now over on Amazon, even cheaper than Newegg, which is kind of surprising because usually Newegg's pretty damn cheap. You guys know that. So let's jump in this thing. Let's first just take a look at the box. We can see it's the Thermaltake Commander MSI. You can see the color scheme up here, black and red. This is the Epic Edition. You guys can see right here, it just kind of shows a basic outline of the case. One of the first features is a USB 3.0. Now I'm going to flip the case around. On the back of the box, we can see they have one of their features listed as airflow. You can see air is being taken in here, blown out through there. Now, here are the features. It says full black coating with metal mesh appearance. Esports look front bezel. Bottom place PSU design for easy installation. Supports high-end graphic cards up to 12.5 inches or 32 centimeters in length. So it supports very long video cards. It's got the built-in latest USB 3.0 super speed connectors also has external USB 3.0 connection. Once again, they're reiterating their ready for long graphic cards. Continuing down the box, we see that they have an ABC cooling solution. A is the top exhaust and rear exhaust, which both feature 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter fans with the rear one being a turbo fan. B, your HDD air cooling system features one front intake, 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter fan. And then you get an optional VGA air cooling system, which says bottom intake, 120 by 120 by 25 again. And it's once again, optional. We'll have to see if it's actually, and then we get it. Once again, just a bunch of shots of the case. The last side just got a bunch of weird information in the language. And that's it. So today I'm gonna do the unboxing a little different. This case doesn't weigh 5,000 tons. So I can pretty much simply and easily do this one. Slight insertion down there. Another one right here. Do one more final one right over here. All right. A lot of the cases that we get in are actually too big for me to do an unboxing like this for because they're just way too large. But this one's not that bad. It's actually pretty lightweight. Well, trying to shake the damn thing out didn't work for beans, so I'll try this again. And basically, this damn thing is f***ing locked in here or something, because it just will not come out of the box. Seriously. Ugh. Oh, wow. $50 case, major pain in the ass to get out of the box. As you can see, I already broke part of the stuff, part of the fire foam. I would not say that's my most successful case unboxing at all. In fact, that was a rather pain in the ass. All right, so here we'll start looking at the front of the case. We have three five and a quarter inch bays. We have a USB standard, USB 3.0. You have your mic and your speakers. Start, restart, you've got two lights right here. Let's see if the front panel comes off. It does. So we're going to go ahead and pull the front panel off, set that off to the side. Well, now you guys can actually see inside of here. Everything is painted red all the way through. I have to say, I mean, the case doesn't feel like it's really super duper high end made, but for $50, it's actually pretty kick ass. And for fans of AMD, this is totally your color scheme. Here on top, we can see you can put two more 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter fans. Those fit right up here on top if you want to put those in. Or you could actually put probably a water cooling thing in there. The front optional fan goes right here. So you have another placement for a fan here. I will go ahead and remove side panel one. Two little screws here. So even on a $50 case, it's still toolless. Take those off my fingers, drop them on the table, pop off the side. Now, the case is not flimsy at all. You'd think being $50, it'd be flimsy. It's got a red window. Go ahead and pull this little thing off of there. 
You guys can see that? Kind of looks like a tomahawk or a spaceship. So that's cool stuff. I'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Here we see the inside of the case. I'm going to run my hand in through it. Everybody's got their pet fees. You guys all know Rodney. Rodney be mad. No removable motherboard tray. But me, I don't look for that. There's plenty of room right here to access your zip socket. And all through the case, everything is well made. No sharp edges of any type anywhere, which me being diabetic, I like. I don't like cutting myself. So here are all your harness wires right here. The bays are completely toolless. These just pop on and they pop back on to lock your drives in place. Very simply done. So you just insert your drive, lock one of these bad boys in there, you go. Here's all your screws. There's also room on the bottom for more fans again. I'm trying to get this up here an angle for you folks. You can put a fan here and a fan here. Okay, I'm gonna switch around to the back. You do have one fan that's already in here. This is another 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter fan. Your IO. Now, they have holes here for liquid cooling and they could actually pop out to get better, but I don't really think in a $50 case you're gonna be really doing any liquid cooling. Power supply mounts cleanly on the bottom. The other side, they're not toolless. They actually require a screwdriver to take off. I guess being a $50 case, they're just going cheapy on that. So I'm not even going to bother taking the other side off. It doesn't look like cable management is going to be too bad. I can see over here on the backhand side that there is room in the backpack here for limited cable management. Not a lot, but still pretty much. Show you guys the bottom of the case. Two solid rubber feet. Flip it around to show you guys the rear again. The last side, which I'm not going to remove. And the front. And then we all know the grill just pops right back on nice and simply. So grill is here and it just pops back nice and simply onto the case. So there we go, folks. I mean, I know that this case like isn't the most like over the top thing, but you got to put this in perspective. We've seen a bunch of cases roll through here at around the $50 mark. A few of them had some really nice features, but were flimsy made. This one's got some pretty basic features, but it's very nice colored, all smooth as edges inside, and has enough features to make you want it if you're looking for a nice budget build. And hey, being on the black and red theme, if you're into the Asus Republic of Gamers stuff or you're into AMD, these colors are just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here on motherboards.org.